some young people in Sudbury are going to get a hard lesson. Rock hard. Uh, actually, about rocks. An event called Gem Detectives, put on by the folks at the Harkell School of Earth Sciences at Laurentian University and a conference of geologists that's underway in Sudbury. The keynote speaker tonight is Kate Larson of New York. She calls herself the groovy geologist. She's got a half a million followers on social media, and she's in our studio now. Good morning. Good morning. Groovy geologist? Uh, yeah. I Explain. Mean, it, well, um, and, and you can definitely see by looking at me, maybe not so much over the radio, but um, I look like I don't know what year it is in, I think, one of the coolest ways. I look love. <laughs> You've got the flower earrings, yeah. uh, the big uh, glasses. You look 1970s. Well, thank you very much. Is that intentional? Absolutely. Why? I really enjoy the fashion, and I don't like a lot of newer clothes. I think every, most things that I'm wearing are uh, more than 40 years old, including my glasses. All right, and so how does geology fit into this? I think geology is pretty groovy, and I'm excited uh, to teach people about it because I love it so much. And being able to kind of market myself as like, oh, hey, look, I dress all cool, and not all geologists are, you know... Nerds. Nerds. I mean, I'm <laughs> definitely a nerd. I mean, if you see me on a day that I'm in the field, I definitely dress like a grandpa, which is also 70s. Right. So it's kind of groovy. Pretty groovy. Um, do you try to make geology groovy? I do. I like to um, express it and explain it in ways that I think people would be more likely to enjoy versus the way that we're taught it in a classroom. And you use social media as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Talk about that. I use uh, social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram to make short form videos. People have short attention spans, and it's really hard to get somebody interested in geology. Most people don't even like earth sciences. I'm not sure how it is in Ontario, um, but you know, in New York State, it's one of the only states in the country. I think it's one of three that requires earth science in high school to graduate. Hmm. So I'm really, you know, facing a battle here. Most people don't even have any kind of background in it. So I'm trying to express it in the most exciting way possible, um, not forcing it down their throats. And I find them. Social media is a great way to find a good audience. And I hope that geology finds people who didn't maybe think about it as a possibility. Give me an example of something that you would post on TikTok. Um, I like to find sounds on TikTok, so videos that have themes that are trending. And I like to put a geology spin on it, whether that is... Um, making like a kind of like an, like an inside joke where I'm uh, able to explain a geological fact like um, sulfur. You know, you smell, uh, you smell a piece rotten of eggs. sulfur. It smells like rotten eggs. And then you go, well, actually, sulfur is the thing that's in rotten eggs that makes it have that smell. So that's something that's, um, I was using like like a trending audio and people recognized it and they said, oh, well, I understand the context of this trend. Now it's being applied to geology? Cool. Maybe. You've also got some like jokes. Um, I saw one where you are uh, like what happens to geologists when they go through uh, airport security oh with all God. these rocks, right? <laughs> Does this actually happen to you? Yes. <laughs> Every single time. And, and what, you get checked because the, the security guards wonder what, what the heck you're yeah, doing? Yeah, rocks apparently show up on some TSA scanners the same way that powdered explosives do. Oh. So they really don't, <laughs> they really don't like when I do that. Uh, I also traveled with bones recently. Um, I traveled with Dimetrodon bones from uh, Texas, and they thought that I was taking, like, human remains or something, so they definitely flagged me for that. They're like, why do you have all these bones? And I was like, um, it's actually not a dinosaur bones. They're older than dinosaur bones. And I thought that was really cool, but they didn't seem to care that much. <laughs> And your talk tonight is called How We Study the Geology of Mars. Yeah. Explain. I have a really deep interest in Mars. One of my senior research projects in college was about the uh, geologic history of Mars and being able to observe it using only satellite images. That's all I had. We can't go to Mars. So how do we understand its history? By studying the data that we get back from Mars. And that data comes in the form of 
lots and lots of numbers, which you have to process and turn into graphs and charts and whatever. But they also come in images. We are so lucky to have little robot geologists on Mars who are taking pictures for us that we can then study. And tonight I'm talking about how we can observe those pictures, observe that data, and make interpretations. So I'm really teaching everybody in the audience tonight to be a geology detective and let, does, let's uh, com compare things that we understand on Earth to things that we're seeing on Mars. Well, and, and it's called gem detectives. The, this, or is it geology detectives? Gem detectives. It's gem detectives uh, as the uh, is the the main theme over what it's called tonight. What else is happening this evening? Well, tonight there's going to be a bunch of professional geologists um, who are going to be uh, offering their expertise and explaining things, identifying stuff that people might bring in, and that is going to be mostly like that's where the the gem detectives comes in. We're showing that geologists are detectives in a way more more ways than one. One, we're looking at clues in individual samples, rocks, minerals, and we're saying, oh, based on X, Y, and Z, this looks like it's this mineral or this rock. But even further than that, there is a formation background, how that mineral formed, how that rock formed. So we're really piecing together like a, a crime scene, you know, <laughs> figuring out what happened, why it happened, here are the clues. No one was around millions of years ago to see when this formed. And I'm really hoping that we can interact with uh, kids tonight and in introduce them to how exciting that concept is. Well, why do you find it exciting? Because I like history. And it's weird. I feel like I might have become a historian or a, a history teacher. But I really do enjoy history. And I enjoy Earth's history. I love science. I love nature. I want to understand why things are the way they are. And I love being able to tell that in a, in, in a story. And so I, I, I teach that because I love to learn it and I get so excited about it. I want to teach it to everybody else. All right. Well, I hope you have fun tonight. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. That is Kate Larson, the groovy geologist, and she will be speaking tonight at Dynamic Earth in Sudbury. It is free for the kids. Uh, you do need to register ahead of time. You can do that through Eventbrite, and there's a great gift that you get with, that includes a bunch of mineral samples. Right. Yes. We are handing out um, free mineral ID kits, one per family, um, and it gives you these little tools that geologists use and that we're taught to use in school, how to identify minerals. Perfect. All right. So if you want one of these for free and uh, you want to attend this session tonight, uh, search for Gem Detectives on Eventbrite. Just go again to Eventbrite, Event, B-R-I-T-E, and search for Gem Detectives. You should find it there and you can register for tonight's event.